Well, praise the Lord, everybody. God bless you and the Lord strengthen you on this evening. It is such a great privilege and honor to be able to come to you again. Praise God. Amen. Here we are. God has blessed us. Amen. He has blessed us to be able to embrace, to see, to feel, to experience a brand new year. And the thing of it is, praise God, is that it wasn't promised to us. Amen. It wasn't promised to and many, praise God, that have gone before us were not allowed to experience this new year. So we're grateful to the Lord because we realize that it is his grace and his mercy that has allowed us. And one thing, praise God, amen, that I have been saying uh, over the pulpit, praise God, and to the saints of the Lord is that hitherto has the Lord helped us. Praise God. Amen. God has helped us and we are grateful because we do understand that if it had not been the Lord who was on our side, then truly, praise God, we would not have uh, made it this far. So we're grateful to the Lord and we appreciate and honor and uh, exalt him because of his goodness and for his mercy. Look, praise God, in this new year, I want you to uh, certainly praise God. Amen. Consent to uh, being a missionary to the extent, praise God, that you will use your uh, devices and, and platform, praise God, to invite others in to hear and to share in the word. Amen. So like, praise God. Amen. Uh, tag and share, praise God. Let us uh, get as many people connected as possible. Amen. So that we can be instrumental in sharing the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ with them. Instructions, amen, for Christian living, amen. And I certainly want to welcome you and celebrate you. And I'm Pastor and Superintendent Samuel Sago. And uh, this is the uh, Tuesday night teaching of the Victorious Faith Ministries, Church of God in Christ. And we're just ecstatic, it's God, about having you here with us. And we celebrate you and appreciate you as we wish you, praise God, a happy Happy New Year. We trust that each of you, praise God, had an excellent time, an excellent holiday and Christmas season, sharing with family, praise God, amen, and being a blessing to one another, and just experiencing the goodness of the Lord. And we trust, praise God, that you have been blessed by being doing so. Praise God. Look, amen, like and share, amen, praise God, and let us come together, amen, and uh, be a blessing. We thank God for those of you that are coming on. Uh, thank God for those that are on uh, uh, Zoom. Praise God. Amen. Amen. I don't know exactly who's on, but usually we have uh, usually we have Mother Lee. We usually we have uh, Brother Kevin, praise God, or Brother Eli, some of those that are on. And I can't see exactly everything that's uh, available here, but we're thankful to you, amen, the members that are tuned in and chimed in via Zoom. And certainly, praise God, we appreciate all of you, amen, that are on uh, via Facebook Live. And we do celebrate and appreciate you. Thank God for you, Sister Weathers, Sister Ellis, amen. We're thankful to Evangelist Sandifer, amen, Sister uh, Jones, praise God, Raven York Jones, and we see that she's got uh, many of our family, Brother Jermaine, God bless you, Brother Jermaine, Sister Delaney, amen. Praise God. Thank God for you, Sister Betty Weathers, amen. Good evening, Sister Dorothy Perman. God bless you. All right, Sister Sanford. God bless the saints everywhere, all around the go. <laughs> amen. And it is so, in Jesus' name. Praise God. Thank God, amen. We're happy to have my own wife, Evangelist Barbara Jackson say go, amen. Happy New Year to each of you. Thank God, amen, for Sister Easley, Sister Birthday, Evangelist Birthday Easley. We celebrate each of you. Thank God, amen, for Sister Geneva Easley and Sister Catherine Williams and uh, Sister Mitchell, LaShonda Mitchell. God bless you. God bless you. Come on in, everybody. Come on in. Thank you, Sister Doris Moore. Good to see you. Sister Magdalene Radliff. God bless you. Sister Jennifer Johnson. Praise God. We're glad for you and we hope and trust, amen, that this will be a time, amen, of blessing for you uh, in the Lord. Praise God. God bless you, Brother Robert Bell. We celebrate you and appreciate you. And thank God, amen, for others who will chime in as time uh, come on. Praise God. As time roll on, we hope and trust that you'll go ahead, log in, get set in. Praise God. Because 
we are looking forward, praise God, to pushing forward. And in just the next few minutes, praise God, I'm going to give you a man, just a, not really minutes, really, praise God, just next few seconds. We hope, praise God, that you will uh, get chimed in, get logged in, praise God, and we're going to commence. And we're certainly grateful to the Lord on today for his goodness and for his mercy and for the wonderful things that he's doing and has done for us, praise God. I'm looking into this year with great expectation, and I hope that you are too, praise God, amen. Let's pray, let's pray, and then we're going to go ahead and move forward. Hmm. Our Father in heaven, we bless you today. We praise you, dear God, we honor you. We exalt you, we lift you up, we magnify you, we glorify your name, God. Thank you now, Lord, for who you are, for what you've done, for what you're doing in us, with us, and through us. God, we lift holy hands without wrath, without doubt. We offer a surrender and say, have your way today in the name of Jesus. Lord, move in us, oh God, as we aspire, God, to speak and to share with your people. I pray now that you would speak through us, oh God, as an oracle of the Lord Jesus Christ, has given us what to say, how to say it, and to be a blessing to the people of the Lord, Lord, and bring glory unto them through Jesus Christ, I pray. We bind every work of the enemy, every contrary thing, every device of the enemy, we call it made null and void now by the power of the word of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Say the Lord rebuke you. We cast you out now in Jesus' name and we cast out your demonic forces by the power of the word of the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ. We cancel your assignment right now and declare and decree that it is so according to the word of the Lord. And we bless you, Father. Thank you now, Lord, for supernatural strength and might in the power of the Holy Ghost, Lord, to declare your word tonight in the power of the Lord in Jesus' name. We pray. Thank you, Father. Amen, amen, and amen. Hallelujah. We just bless God and praise him for his goodness and for his mercy and for everything that he has done for us. Praise God. We're going to get started, get kicked off here. You know, Right about this time of the year, praise God, and for many, um, perhaps even a little before this time of the year, praise God, people the world over, praise God, amen, they are inspired to initiate different things into their lives, praise God, for the purpose of achieving and the hope of achieving change, praise God, amen. People uh, uh, this time of the year, praise God, amen, more uh, Dives are started, more promises are made, <clears throat> more commitments, praise God, are, are spoken of, praise God. All kind of things happen during this time of the year, praise God, amen, amen. And so this is, this is, it's, it's an indication that people in general, praise God, are displeased, many of them, with their current state of circumstances, current set of affairs and, and circumstances, praise God, amen. Or it could be that, amen, that that, that uh, most individuals that really do uh, want to improve their lives, praise God, amen. People uh, tend to uh, want change. Let me say it, and praise God, I'm gonna, but I'm going to come back to that, all right? When I say people want change, I'm going to guess, uh, I'm going to come back to that, praise God. But uh, when we speak of change, amen, then guess what, praise God, uh, the fact of the matter is, Amen. Is that uh, the fact of the matter is that, praise God, amen, uh, uh, that's the reason Jesus Christ came into the world. By the will of God the Father, praise God, it was to affect change in the lives of mankind through believing in his son, Jesus Christ, praise God. And now, and now, and now one thing about it, praise God, if you cannot sense, if you cannot sense that there is a need for change in your life, praise God, then you'll never see a need for Jesus Christ. Praise God, without seeing that need for Jesus Christ, amen, then if you can't see that, amen, then you are already uh, eternally, praise God, and forever lost, praise God, amen, because there is no salvation without the Lord Jesus Christ. And so in Jesus Christ, we find that there are, uh, uh, is a gradual and an ongoing uh, way, praise God, amen, that we call sanctification, praise God, amen, and uh, it helps us to 
to, to pursue, helps us, I mean, to procure change. In fact, Jesus Christ, he said there in when he was praying to his father in John 17 and 17, it says, sanctify them, Father, through thy truth, amen, for thy word is truth. Praise God, amen. And so uh, it is the word of the Lord that helps us, that aids us and assists us, praise God, when it comes into our heart, amen, our minds and soul, praise God. And this is the most effective key Amen. To change, praise God. Uh, not just making promises on a new year, praise God, making resolutions and things like that, but for any time of the year, whenever you would receive the word of God in your heart, praise God, then it will affect change. Amen. So the most lasting change, it starts, praise God, from the inside and it works its way out. Amen. And when you allow the word of God, hallelujah, into your heart, it begins to affect your way of thinking, praise God. And even it will begin to affect your desires by and according to the word of the Lord. Amen. When things begin to line up with God's word. In fact, Jesus said there in John 6 and 63, he said, praise God, the word that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Uh, and so when we look at, praise God, that word sanctification, amen, then uh, it comes from the word uh, sanctify, which means to set apart, it means to set apart, amen. So sanctification, amen, is uh, a, a, a dedication to uh, to seeking and to yielding to God, uh, becoming more like Christ, amen, while uh, turning away from sin and turning away from the things of the world, things that are world-centered from that type of lifestyle, praise God, we have to turn our backs on that. That's what repentance is all about. And so basically, sanctification is a process, amen, of pursuing God and becoming more like Jesus Christ. And the reason we want to become like Jesus Christ is because we find that in Matthew 3 and 17, praise God, amen, that God was well pleased with him, amen. So whatever resolutions or promises, praise God, that you're in the habit of making or changes that you are trying to pursue in this coming year, praise God, then we admonish you to, uh, that, that they need to be centered around uh, what pleases the Father and Jesus Christ is the one that pleases him the most, praise God. So I believe, amen, that people in general, uh, they generally want change. Praise God. Amen. I mentioned earlier that I was coming back to the fact, amen, that uh, people want change. And so I'm saying that people, they generally want change, amen, but they want it when it's comfortable. They want it, amen, when it's easy going and easy coming. Praise God. Amen. People don't want to have to press, amen, and go through much for change, amen. This is the reason why many times they give up. But the Apostle Paul, he declared there in the book of Philippians chapter three and verse 14, it says, I press, I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. So the bottom line, y'all, is that flesh doesn't want to easily submit and succumb and conform to change that is dictated by the spirit of the Lord. Amen. Flesh doesn't want that. Amen. But if we are to be all that God requires of us, praise God, and adhere to the change that are necessary, praise God. Amen. Then we've got to allow the press to take forth in the process. The Bible says there in Galatians 5, praise God. Amen. Uh, verses 16 and 17. And this I say then, walk in the spirit and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the flesh, praise God, lusts against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary one to another, praise God, so that ye cannot do the things that ye would. Amen. So praise God. Amen. As we aspire and look forward to, praise God, and are motivated, praise God, for change. Amen. Then look, we have got to understand, praise God. Amen. That there's a press that is involved. Amen. It might not necessarily be the easiest thing praise God, amen, to achieve, amen, but it becomes necessary, praise God. And uh, I didn't tell you on tonight, amen, but I didn't come by myself, praise God. I've got my favorite person, amen, and uh, uh, my partner, praise God, in life, amen, my wife, my, uh, uh, she's, she's my favorite person, praise God, my favorite person. I'm, uh, I'm going to ask her to come in at this time, praise God, and she's going to come and, and to share with us, praise God. But Lady B, I want you to talk to us, amen, about uh, what's involved, what's involved in 
uh, this new year process of pressing uh, toward the mark. Praise God. Amen. What can we look for and what can we expect in this season? By the way, happy new year to you. <laughs> well, happy new year to you and happy new year to everybody that's out there on Facebook. Uh, we're excited about this new year, excited about what God is doing in this season. Um, I, I, you, you, you were talking earlier about change and, uh, you know, uh, embracing uh, more. And I would trust and hope that those who are watching tonight, we're not just about uh, making necessarily a New Year's resolution. Right. Uh, I've done it. You've done it. Many people have made resolutions. And by the time we get to the first week of February, we've already reneged <laughs> on those resolutions. But um, the scripture that you just read, and, and here too again, I just want to appreciate everyone that we're seeing tonight. But the scripture that you read there in Philippians chapter three, uh, where Paul was talking and um he says, brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, right. but this one thing I do, I forget those things which are behind. Uh -huh. And then he says, I reach forth unto the things which are before. I press mm -hmm. toward the what the prize or the mark of the high calling of God, which is in Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. Now, it's interesting that Paul said that if you go back a few verses, uh, there in the uh, same chapter, chapter 3 of Philippians, verse 10, Paul said something, and this scripture always intrigues me because Paul was a, you know, let me say it this way. Paul was a bad fella. Uh, right. He was knowledgeable. He wrote over half the New Testament. Many of the uh, epistles you know, are written by Paul. He spoke different languages. Uh, set at the highest court of the land. I mean, and he knew the letter and he knew the law from start to finish. Uh, after the, his Damascus role experience, he, be, mm -hmm. he you know, he, he uh, got this relationship with Jesus Christ, became uh, just as vigilant and just as aggressive working for God as he was working for the devil. Uh, mm -hmm. But yet Paul says something in Philippians chapter three, verse 10. He says that I may know him, mm -hmm. the power of his resurrection right. Right. and the right. fellowship of his suffering. Every time I read that particular verse, that says to me with all the knowledge and all the revelation that Paul had, he mm -hmm. still wanted more, more. from God. Yeah, yeah, he says, yeah. God, I want to know you. In other words, I'm not satisfied where I am. Mm -hmm. I'm not satisfied in this position. I'm not satisfied just knowing you on this level or having right. a surface level or even a surface relationship with Christ. He said, I want to go deeper. I want to mm -hmm. go deeper. I want to know you in the power of your resurrection My and in God. the fellowship of suffering. And I, mm -hmm. I, I would trust and hope that those who are listening tonight, that is your desire as we're moving mm -hmm. into and have moved into 23. Right. It's not about you making another $100,000 or trying to build the biggest house or, you know, trying to even establish myself, you know, as this or that. But Lord, more than anything, I yeah. want to know you. I want to deepen my relationship with you. Now, and we run back to you, but in order to do that, look at what Paul said. He said, yeah. moving from verse uh, 10 to verse 13, he says, because I'm not there yet. I mm -hmm. don't count myself to have apprehended, but in right. order for me to move forward, what do I have to do? I got to forget some things which are behind. Forget some things which are behind. And he says, reaching forth to the things which are before. Now, here we go. I press. Mm -hmm. I press. Mm -hmm. Now, when we say that word, Pastor, press, to me, that suggests opposition. Exactly. Yes. Anytime you strive to move forward in God, don't 
think that the enemy is just going to let you skate through, as we say sometimes, just go sweeping through the city. No, All there right. is going to be some opposition, and, and, and Paul understood that. And so he said, I press. And I dare to say, Pastor, that sometimes the opposition is not always without or outside. Sometimes mm -hmm. that opposition is internal. Right. You know, right. we have to press beyond our own mindset or press beyond our own way of thinking. We have to be willing to get up out of our own comfort zone. We right. have to be willing to say no to some traditions in mm -hmm. order to move forward and embrace those things that God has in store for us. And I would trust and hope and pray that as we are at the beginning, just the third day of this new year, mm -hmm. we are posturing ourselves to, 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 to receive everything that mm -hmm. God has for us in this new year. Is it going to, I told a sister earlier today, that this year we're embracing not only the victories, but we're embracing the challenges. Mm -hmm. See, a lot of times we want to embrace the victories, but we want to put the challenges behind us. Right. But see, Paul understood that. That's why he says, I press. I know there are going to be challenges. I know there's going to be opposition. I know there are going to be things opposing me. So uh, nobody said, I'm forgetting those things which are behind, you know, and sometimes we have to, you know, be willing to relinquish some ideas, some, some, some past relationships. We have to be willing to relinquish sometimes some ways of thinking in order to embrace everything that God has in store. And so Paul says, you know, I'm pressing, I'm pressing, I'm pressing. Woman with the issue of blood, she had a goal in mind. But what did mm -hmm. she do? She got in the press. Yeah. She got in the press. You know, there were people stepping on her. There were people, you know, saying, get out of the way, you're not supposed to be here. What's wrong with you? You're unclean. But she mm -hmm. kept pressing because she yeah. had a goal in mind. Mm. Paul was focused on that goal. And as a result, he was able to withstand the challenges, withstand the opposition, withstand the temptations. And if we're going to receive things that God has in store for us, we've got to be just as focused as the apostle Paul was. My, 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 my. That's absolutely wonderful. And I heard you talk about, praise God, I mean, the challenges, you know, but the thing of it is, you know, I heard a friend of mine say on uh, one occasion, and I believe, amen, that uh, it's applicable for this situation. He said, amen, that for every level, there are different devils. Praise God. Yes. Amen. Uh, we understand that the uh, demonic uh, force of the devil, praise God, they're regimented. Uh, there are some who have uh, more authority than others. They cover more territory than others. Some are just, amen, local, but then there are others who are regional. And as you right. elevate, praise God, amen, you, there is a different enemy. There is a different devil, praise God, assigned to oppose you. And mm -hmm. uh, so you, when you say, amen, Lord, I want to know you in the power of your resurrection and in the fellowship of your suffering, praise God, there's got to be something down on the inside of you that says, amen, I mean this thing, praise God. Because just as sure as you set yourself to go after God, amen, then the devil has a plot, amen. But thank God for the plan of God, amen, to bring you to success. And you look like yeah. you just don't want to say something. So go ahead. You know, it's, 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 a, it's interesting just listening to you talk about every every new level, there's a, there, there's a different devil or, or different mm -hmm. demon, you know, yeah. because... We know there's, you know, just just one devil, but there are many, right. many demons, and right. and sometimes I think people people tend to stay shallow, mm -hmm. they stay shallow because they don't want to have to deal with the challenges okay. that are attached to that mm -hmm. next level blessing. Yes, yeah, stay you know, shallow to stay safe. Not stay safe, shallow to stay safe. 
Yeah, mm-hmm. no, not not safe, but they, yeah. they they stay shallow because they don't want to deal with the next. Like you said, they want to stay right. safe, right? You know, right. think about even in chapter five. You know, when Jesus wanted his disciples to uh, 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 receive a blessing, even in fishing, but they were mm-hmm. comfortable in the shallow water. Right. You know, he said, you know, if you're going to, you know, receive more, you've got to launch out into the deep. Now, I'm not a fisherman. You probably have fished more than I have. But mm. I can remember my dad many years ago going what they call deep sea fishing. Deep sea fishing. Mm-hmm. You know, now, as long as I have fished around the banks and when I fish around the banks, I may catch some minnows and some brims, you know, even a few little catfish. Uh, I don't even know what else is around the, the, the shallow water, you know, those little jellyfishes and starfishes and things like that. But when you want to catch those big old swordfishes and those mm-hmm. big old gigantic, you know, uh, I've seen those guys out there catching whales and things like that. You've got to get out and launch in the deep. In the deep. In the deep. Because those type fish don't hang around shallow water. Now, mm-hmm. there's a challenge with the deep water. You know, yes. the, the water is a little rougher. You know, the, the it's 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 a little bit more aggressive. Uh, the the challenge to reel in those big fish, it's it's difficult. But mm-hmm. if you want to bring in the big fish, so to mm-hmm. speak, you can mm-hmm. get into the deep water and not play it safe. Yeah, and I think the reward is greater. The reward is greater. The reward is greater. Yes. And it's so sad because we have a lot of saints who are missing out on greater blessings because they're trying to play it safe. You know, mm. I, don't, I don't, if I, I don't break it on that, you know, there are some people who won't even commit to working in the church because they know it takes a responsibility. Mm-hmm. There's mm-hmm. a responsibility. There's a commitment. So I'm just gonna play it safe. I'll just show up to when I'm ready. I, you know, don't don't, don't y'all call me, have me to do nothing. Just let me sit in my little corner. And they play it safe. But the problem is, like Paul, they never ever really get to know who God is. God does not want us. Uh, shame on us. Shame on us. This is January 3rd of 2023. Shame on, on us if we are at the same level now that mm-hmm. we were January 3rd, 2022. Right. That has right. Been no good. And God knows, hallelujah, 2024, January 3rd. We don't want to constantly be on the same level. So the, 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 the whole idea, uh, and you preach this Sunday, about moving from glory to glory, going That's from it. strength to strength, growing mm-hmm. in grace, growing mm-hmm. in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, grow up to the point where you know you're not easily uh, uh, pushed out of character. You get to church, somebody's sitting in your seat. You would be surprised people who've been in church 20 years and they still get upset because somebody's sitting in their seat. They get upset because the sister walked around the whole and didn't even speak to me. So what? So what? At some point, we have to grow beyond that and get out into the deeper water and deal with some bigger fish. Because I think the enemy gets the glory, Pastor Sago. He gets the glory when we are bickering, when we are fighting, when we are, you know, acting like little children. Uh, and, and Jesus uh, spoke about that. Paul, the apostle Paul spoke about that. That we're like newborn babes. You know, mm. we, we still own, we're still on milk and mm. God is desiring to give us meat. We can't even deal with the meat because we barely can deal with the milk, you know? Oh, and so God. at some point, we've got to grow from where we are and press and forget some of those things which are behind and mm-hmm. reach to those things which are higher and greater. Praise God. I know that it's it's the plot of the enemy. It's a it's plot, praise God, to keep those things behind us, keep them active, keep them you know, elevated, keep them you know, rattling and, and, and reminding us and things like that. But one thing that Paul 
or realize, praise God, amen. I was looking at that scripture there when you were talking about it, it says, brother, I count not myself to have apprehended, praise God, but this thing I do. And so to me, that's saying, praise God, that Paul was realizing where he was then. He uh -huh. was, he, was he, he had contemplated on where he was at that point, praise God. But he realized, amen, there was much more area for growth, much right. more opportunities for advancement ahead of him. Mm -hmm. And that in order to embrace those things ahead of him, he had to let go of those things behind him. And sometimes, praise God, this seemed to be the, the a, a great task, praise God, amen, of so many. It's a tool that the enemy uses in such Praise God. Let me just say, amen, I, 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 I don't want to uh, give the devil any due, praise God, but I must say, man, that he many times uses our past, praise God, in a very successful way to hinder us from moving forward, amen, into the things of God. But Paul realized where he was. He understood that the greater things was in front of him, praise God, and that some way, somehow, he had to relinquish and get released from those things that were behind him because he fit, he understood, praise God, there's nothing I can do about the past, even the mistakes that I've made, praise God. Right. I've got to, look, I've got to repent, let them go, praise God, and don't let the devil condemn me with them because they're covered under the blood. And this is something, praise God, that so many people, they wrestle with them and they've made errors, they've made mistakes, they've made bad choices, praise God, but somehow they cannot seem to understand that when you ask God for forgiveness for those things, then he has done that. He yes. has done that and that frees you right. to move forward with all urgency and with every sense, praise God, of understanding, amen, that look, I don't have my past holding me back because I've given it to Jesus through repentance, through, amen, asking for forgiveness, and I have that. And so now I'm pressing, I'm pressing whatever it takes. I'm going, amen, full speed and full steam ahead because I realize there are greater things in store for me. And I hope that those of you who are listening tonight, praise God, amen. I, I hope that we can get through to you to understand, praise God, amen, to not allow past failures, past mm -hmm. uh, unpleasantries and things like this, praise God, to hinder you from moving forward, amen. Confess that thing to God. The Bible tells us, First John, amen, three, praise God, amen, that if we confess, praise God, that God is faithful and just to forgive and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness, praise God. And so that's what we must do in this season in order to move forward in the things of God. You know, it, the devil is so, he, he's so cunning, he's so crafty. Uh, you know, we as people of God, we, we, we've we dealt with uh, betrayal, we've dealt with um, sometimes physical abuse, verbal abuse, emotional abuse in different relationships. And sometimes these things will leave you uh, feeling bitter, bitter. Mm -hmm. They'll leave you feeling angry. Uh, they'll leave you feeling, you know, frustrated, uh, upset, mad, you know, because that person did something to you that made you, you know, just, just feel a certain way and mm -hmm. look like that person, he or she gone on with their lives, but here you are, you're left hurt, mm -hmm. you're left broken, you are left wounded, you know, so to speak, sometimes they say you're left holding the bag, you're yeah. left the one that has to, you know, figure out how am I going to get through this? And sometimes if we are not careful, uh, even we as ladies, you know, that bitterness, that that hatred will, will, will set up, will turn into bitterness. And that bitterness will turn into hatred, and hatred will turn into bitterness. And, and, and you know, when those type things begin to uh, set up in your, in your mind, it mm -hmm. gets in your spirit. Yeah. It begins to affect every area of your life. And, 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 and Jesus Christ, realizing that, he told us over in Hebrews chapter 12, and this is a scripture that we read a lot in the Church of God in Christ, but we, we mm -hmm. read the 14th verse, but we don't read the 15th. 
uh, 14 verse says, follow peace with mm -hmm. all men and all is without which no man shall see the Lord. And right. then it goes to say, looking diligently, lest mm -hmm. any man fail of the grace of God, lest a root of bitterness springing right. up trouble you and mm -hmm. thereby many be defiled. Now, this is saying, and, and, and we're talking about moving beyond and moving beyond our past and moving forward. And sometimes we are not able to move forward. You will be surprised how many people mm -hmm. come to our church every Sunday and they're bitter. Mm -hmm. They're angry. You can tell in the worship service, they sit there like they're, you know, mad and upset with God, upset with the pastor, upset, just upset. You know, you can they, they can barely raise their hands and and, and, mm. and sometimes people have allowed uh just years of bitterness. I'm angry with my husband, the way he treated me. They're in relationships where, mm -hmm. where, where they're upset with the husband, they're upset with the children. Uh maybe the, the, the relationship went bad, you know, and, and the woman is left to raise the kids by herself, not getting any help from the man mm -hmm. and she's just angry so she comes to church angry she comes to church bitter goes to work just mad taking it out on people around her taking it out on the children i'm talking about saints i'm mm -hmm. talking about saints because when i go to church and i see saints just mad you know they 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 they, they, they got an expression on their face you know that says you know, I'm here, but I don't want to be here. Something is wrong on the inside. Yeah. And yeah. I don't care, Pastor. I don't care how much we can wave a magic wand. We can even lay hands on folk until they make up in their mind mm -hmm. that I want to be delivered from this spirit of bondage. Look at what Paul yeah. said in Galatians. Now he was talking about the law, but we mm -hmm. can apply this. He says, uh, stand fast therefore in the liberty wherewith Christ has made you free. Mm -hmm. He said, don't tag again with the yoke of bondage. And sometimes we are so bound, we are so heavy laden, you know, with, with, with stuff, anger, bitterness, uh, uh, hatred, you know, mass thing that we have carried and suppressed from one year to the other. But mm -hmm. I tell you, this is year 2023. We right. cannot afford. Pastor, I, 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 I want those of you that are on Facebook, I want you to hear me dearly. We have mm -hmm. come through a pandemic. We are still in a pandemic. And God has allowed these things to somewhat uh, bombard our nation because God is wanting to move us. He is trying to shift the church. But so many of us, we are so comfortable sitting in bitterness. We are so comfortable sitting in hatred. We are so comfortable staying there. He says, look, in, 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 in uh, uh, Hebrews 12, he says, follow peace with all men and holiness without which no man shall see the Lord. But he goes on to say, he says, diligently, lest any man fail of the grace of God, lest any root of bitterness bringing up trouble you. Notice what he said, trouble you. And when our spirits are troubled, that's when we're in trouble. You know, we, we go through trouble, but see, then when you get to the point where that trouble becomes troubling, mm, you, got a keeps you up. You're taking mm. medication, <laughs> you're taking pills, you're going to, you know, the psychic trying to get some help. Your spirit is in trouble. And a lot of times that's because of bitterness and hatred that we have not yet released and been lit from. I would dare to say, and I'm going back to you, Pastor, many mm -hmm. people are dealing with sicknesses today because of hatred and bitterness that has taken root in their spirits. Mm -hmm. God is able to deliver. God is able to set you free. 
You do not have to carry that weight into 2023. Hallelujah. I hear the Lord saying, I have come to give you life and to give you this life in a good abundance. It's mm -hmm. yours. It's yours. It's yours. But you've mm -hmm. got to be willing to do what Paul did. Press, reach, yeah. focus, strive, and you can receive all that God has for you. Mm. My, 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 my. That's wonderful. That's great. I was listening to you and you had mentioned something about, praise God, uh, sometimes people, you can sense that something is wrong on the inside yeah. of them. Absolutely. You know, and the thing of it is, you know, is that we got to be very, very careful and very, mm -hmm. very cautious, praise God. The Bible tells us, man, to guard our hearts. And so we have to be careful, amen, about what we allow our spirit, man, to be exposed to. Uh, mm -hmm. especially if we're going to press, praise God, amen, because it is absolutely necessary, praise God, amen. Well, the thing of it is, amen, is that according to uh, the scripture that I read before there in Galatians chapter 5, praise God, it talks about how that the flesh, in verse 17, the flesh lusts against the spirit, praise yes. God, and if you are feeding your flesh, praise God, through what you allow yourself to be exposed to a man, then you are, are increasing, praise God, the uh, likelihood of the devil's plot working against you. Praise God. Amen. You know, uh, uh, it's natural. It's natural for the flesh, praise God, to lust against, amen, the spirit and the spirit against the, the flesh. That's what Paul said. It's, it's, it's natural. It's something, amen, that we, you got to deal with. Praise God. But it's kind of like that guy that I was talking to and he said, amen, that he was watching a dog fight. Praise God. And someone mentioned and asked, praise God, I wonder, uh, just come in, what dog is going to win? Somebody else come in and praise God, the one that you feed the most. Praise God. Amen. And so y'all praise God. If we are going to really press and successfully make it through and accomplish, praise God. Uh, the things that God has set before us, y'all, it is going to require us feeding the spirit man. Just before then, praise God, in that, amen, in that 16th verse, praise it, Paul said, I say then, this say I then, praise God, amen, walk in the spirit, walk in the spirit, amen, and that doesn't mean with your head, amen, up in the air, praise God, speaking in tongues all day, praise God, that, that, that doesn't mean that, amen, but you have got to have a focus, praise God, amen, many times we talk about, amen, that prayer wheel that's turning, amen, that, 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 that subconscious, uh, the subconscious mm -hmm. man, you know, God has made us so, amen, that we are equipped with the conscious, amen, and a subconscious, whether we can be doing things, amen, up front, praise God, amen, and then in the background, in the spirit man, in the mind, praise God, we can be at a whole nother level of worship, amen, and uh -huh. understanding with him, praise God, amen, without interfering with what's going on. If you're typing on the computer, praise God, I've figured out files and things like that, amen, you can still do that. God has made us that way. But we've got to learn how, amen, to focus, praise God, on the things of God so that the inner man, praise God, can be fed. Hallelujah. Praise God. The Bible talks about how that the outward man, he's perishing day by day, praise God. But inwardly, amen, there is a feeding, there is a feast, praise God, going on. And this is the thing that is going to help us, praise God, to uh, not only to endure the press, praise God, but to come out, amen, victoriously. And that's what God wants for us. I'm convinced, praise God, amen, that God is a God of progress. And this is what something that I mentioned on this past Sunday in our message, praise God, that God wants us to move forward. He wants us, praise God, to progress. And I feel like that many times that's why God is leaving us here so that we can achieve more and accomplish more, praise God. But look, amen, look, God might, and I'm just saying, praise God, I'm, I'm saying like Paul now, amen, nevertheless, you know, not, not Christ, but I, praise God, God might change his mind about leaving you here, praise God, if you ain't accomplishing nothing, glory to God, if you ain't pressing for nothing, if you are not accomplishing, amen, things for the glory of God, amen, perhaps, amen, God might change his mind, amen, but look, 
Uh, I want to be here as long as God has me here, praise God, but I want to be protected. I want to be, praise God, amen, conquering some things uh, for the kingdom of God and overcoming some things, bringing some things into subjection, praise God, into compliance with the word of the Lord, praise God. So I think that that's important for us, amen, but we've got to be careful, amen, as we walk in the spirit, amen, this is what's going to help us to be able to keep the press going, keep the press going, praise God. And as we do that, amen, I believe that God's going to bring us victory, praise God, like never before. Amen. He's going to definitely do it, amen. And, and, and I just believe that as we, as a church, as a body, uh, as a people of God, posture ourselves. You know, I go back to that scripture in Philippians 3.10. Paul says, mm -hmm. I want that I may know him. Mm -hmm. I want to know him. Uh, I challenge the people of God, even this year, uh, to posture yourselves to get to know God in a more real and personal way. Uh, right. Knowledge of his word. You know, someone says, how do you know what God will do? I know what God will do based on what he has done That's right. in his word. You know, and as you study the word of God and, 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 and here too, again, I am a, a proponent for the Bible. Uh, this is the only book that really teaches us about God. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of good readings out there. Uh, I'm in school and I've talked to professors and I've talked to other people who are in school and they will teach, they would teach sometimes things that are not biblically based, that mm -hmm. are not typically biblically sound. Mm -hmm. That's why you have to have a, a, a working knowledge of the Bible. And this is one of the areas where God, uh, where the enemy is defeating the saints of God in because we don't want to study. We don't want to mm. study. We just, you know, we skim through the scripture. We, we skim through the Bible. Uh, and, and as a result, as Hosea said, my people are destroyed because of their lack of knowledge. And so I encourage the saints of God in this year, uh, posture yourself to study the word, to study the Bible. So you can grow, you can mature in the word because the truth be told, Pastor, we are no, no more stronger than the word that we have on the inside of us. All right. If All right. Live, live word, we're not even no match for the devil. You know, mm -hmm. and that's one of the reasons why uh, the enemy defeats us the way he does. He defeats us in our mind. He defeats us in our praise. He defeats us in our worship. He defeats us in our, even in our walk with God because we have little knowledge of the Bible. You know, if I really know, if I really know what the will, that I'm in the will, you know, whatever the will says, whatever, you know, have much money is in that will. If I know that I'm in the will, you know, I know that will is, is, is something in there for me, I'm not gonna be going through, you know, looking pitiful, looking poor, and, and scratching my head, I know my future is in the will. You see, right. when we get into the word of God, we begin to learn of the benefits that we have, the benefits that we have as, as, as saints, the benefit that we have as people of God. And so no matter what the devil throw at us or throw against us, I know what God has said concerning me in the word in the wheel. <clears throat> what did he say concerning Barbara? He said, I'll never leave you. I'll never forsake you. He says, you are the head and not the tail. You are above only and not beneath. He says that you're blessed in the city. You're blessed in the field. He tells me right. that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. He tells me that greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. You know, He tells me that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. He says, I'm going to supply all your need according to my riches and glory. You know, yeah. he says, you can decree a thing and it will be established. When I get into the word of God and I see all of the benefits that I have as a child of God, mm -hmm. I'm encouraged. I'm strengthened. 
because I'm covered because of what his word has said concerning me. Now, if we don't know that word, the devil will run up side, one side of us and down the other. Amen. And there are some people, Pastor Sago, they'll come to church every Sunday, they'll shout, they'll speak in tongues, you know, they'll they'll even run up and down a pulpit, uh, but they have no word in them. Mm. So when they get outside the church, you know, uh, live defeated lives because of their lack of the word that's on the inside. Jesus said it this way. He said, the word that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. Mm -hmm. You know, so we need that word so we can be victorious in every area, every area of our lives. Praise God. You're exactly right. You're exactly right. Praise God. Amen. In fact, Jesus gave us that example in the book of Matthew, when he was led into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil there in Matthew chapter four, I believe, praise God, amen. And how that when he was tempted of the enemy, the Bible says that all that he did, praise God, amen. Look, he didn't go to speaking in tongues. He didn't stop and do no dance, praise God. But he just spoke God's word, amen. Yeah. And the devil had to back up, all right, mm -hmm. amen. And if it worked for him, if that word is in us, praise God, amen. And uh, that's what the Bible says there, praise God, according to what that Ephesians uh, or 3 and 20, amen, mm -hmm. that uh, he will do exceedingly abundantly above, praise God, amen, all, uh, uh, all these things. But then all of that, it's according to the power uh, that worketh in you, praise God. And that power is based on the word of God, amen. And as we, as we are looking for, and uh, maybe, praise God, making resolutions and things like that. I was just kind of thinking, praise God, about, you know, uh, 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 what, what, what should we uh, uh, look for? Amen. When we are uh, in pursuit of change, when we're trying to, to initiate change in our life, praise God. Amen. Uh, there's at least a couple of things, amen, that the Lord showed me, praise God, that we ought to be doing. And you hit on the first word, and that is, amen, getting in the word. Praise God. Amen. We, uh, uh, whatever change we are sensing and whatever change we're trying to make, it needs to be word based and Christ centered. Right. Amen. It needs to be word based and Christ centered. Whatever you're trying to do, it needs to be for the glory of God and based on the word of God. Praise God. The Bible says, amen, there in Ephesians, uh, not Ephesians, but Philippians 2 and 13, it says, for it is God. Amen. Which worketh in you both to will and to do uh, of uh, his good pleasure. Praise God. And so that's some things that God wants us to accomplish in our lives. Amen. That's the thing that the power of the Holy Ghost is unctioning us to do and to pursue. Praise God. That's God. Amen. Trying to build you. That's God. Amen. Trying to fortify you for uh, uh, trials and for tri tribulations and for tasks and for difficulties that are ahead of you because of your growth and your maturity. Praise God. God is trying to prepare us for that. But when we are lazy about the word, praise God, then what happens is that when these things reveal themselves, and many times we are not prepared, amen, because we did not yield, amen, to uh, that unction. We did not yield to that working of God in us to will and to do of his good pleasure. Praise God. Amen. And so then the second thing, amen, that I heard the Lord say when it, it, it uh, when trying to initiate change, praise God, and, and, and going through various things in our lives, praise God, when there's transformation involved, amen, there must be an ability, amen, you've got to have in your mind, praise God, amen, a desire uh, that is stronger, that is more uh, 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 apt, praise God, than the obstacles, amen, that you meet in the process. Praise God. And, and, and let me say it again. Praise God. You've got to have something down on the inside of you that's stronger than the opposition that comes against you. Praise mm -hmm. God. Amen. And, 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 and Paul said, and Paul said there in Romans 8 and 18, he said, man, for I reckon that the suffering of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory 
glory, there's that word again, with the glory that shall be revealed in us, praise God. You got to understand it. Then this goes back to the word. The word of God confirms, amen, to us what we can look forward to. If we have no working relationship of God's word in us, praise God, then we don't know, we don't understand, amen, uh, what we're pressing toward and what's promised to us. Amen. Yes. But if you know that there is a gold mine, amen, on the other side, amen, of your trouble, praise God, you keep on pressing. You keep on going through. Amen. And there is a promise of God, amen, giving us eternal life, praise God, in his presence with him forever and forever and forever. And look, praise God, that's worth, amen, so much more, praise God, than what we have deal with and go through in order to get there. Praise God. Amen. So you've got to have, amen, a, 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 a reason to keep on pressing. There needs to be a push, amen, behind that press. Praise God. Amen. You don't ever want to lose the push behind that press. And that push, amen, is the promises that God has given us in his word. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I tell you, this is good. This is good. And I, I, I just believe that in this season, uh, we, we, we should position ourselves and posture ourselves to, uh, to move forward. You know, I think about even with the children of Israel as they were sojourning through the wilderness uh, on their way to a goal. You know, the goal was the promised land. Yes. This was a land that God had promised them, uh, but yet because of their uh, uh, inability to stay focused, uh, Paul, here too, again, we go back to Philippians chapter three. You know, he had a goal in mind. He stayed mm -hmm. focused on that goal. Uh, we see the children of Israel, they, they wavered. They wavered in their faith. They wavered in their trust in God. Uh, they wavered in their obedience uh, to the word that God gave them through Moses. And as a result, many of them did not reach that, that goal. In fact, as you said earlier, many of them died uh, yes. in the wilderness. And it's interesting when you study the scripture, uh, the, 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 the distance from Egypt to the promised land was only an 11 day journey. Mm -hmm. It was an 11 day journey. It took okay. them four years. God out them to go the long way. Mm -hmm. You know, and I say sometimes this is certainly not scriptural. This is, this is Barbara Sago 101. But I say mm -hmm. sometimes God took them the long way to work that Egypt mentality out of them. Mm -hmm. uh, he was mm -hmm. trying or wanting to bring them into a land of promise, a land flowing with milk and honey. He wanted to give them homes they didn't have to build and vineyards they didn't have to plant. But mm -hmm. yet because of their lack of trust in the word of God, yeah. their lack of trust in God, their lack of faith, uh, many of them didn't encounter and receive the blessing of the promised land. And so what does that say to us today? That Moving from point A to point B, it's imperative that we focused on the prize. Keep our eyes fixed on Jesus. Are there going to be distractions? Yes. Uh, there mm -hmm. are distractions that are coming from all around us. Distractions like fear. Fear is mm -hmm. a distraction that we have to count sometimes. Sometimes uh, 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 being alone, that's a mm -hmm. distraction. Being misunderstood, these are distractions. Uh, being lied on, these are yeah. things that come against us as people of God. And sometimes, Pastor, when these things happen, these are you know things that are, are, are sent by the devil, these are things that are influenced by the enemy. We'll find ourselves taking our eyes off of the prize mm -hmm. and we start giving in to what the fear. We give in to the distraction. We give in to the loneliness. You know, we start trying to chase that lie down. Who told that lie? Who said who? And so we become distracted. Mm -hmm. Calling all around 
church, calling all around the job, trying to find out who said, what said, she said, you know, mm -hmm. trying to check down a lie. And we become distracted. Now, what happens when we get distracted? We lose ground. Mm -hmm. We lose ground because now we're like, you know, we've lost our way. We're beating the air. We've taken our eyes off of our focus. And if we're not careful, we're going to be like Peter when he took his eyes off of Jesus. We're going to mm -hmm. begin to sink, sink, and sink in our faith, sink in our commitment, sink in our dedication. We're going to be sinking in our influence. We're going to sink in our power, mm -hmm. in our ability. To, to, to influence the world. Jesus tells us to, you know, let our light shine. He said, you are the salt of the earth. You know, that means we, we create a hunger and a thirst for God in the lives of people. But when we become distracted and inundated with fear and, and all of these things that are, uh, let me call them a little ploy of the enemy to deter mm -hmm. us, it causes us to sink and to lose ground. Therefore, you know, we become like the children of Israel. It would have taken them 11 days, it took them 40 years, you know. And it, the, believe you me, there is never no failure in God. The failure is never in God. But it's always in us. Because of our distractions that we give in to, uh, uh, you know, and just those things that the devil throw at us that we tend to entertain. But Paul says, and we go back to that scripture again. Mm -hmm. says, I press. Yes. I press. I press. I'm going to have some challenges, but I press. People are not going to like me all the time, but I have to press on anyway. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to see that out with you on this particular subject, but I'm not going to allow that to distract me, I still will remain focused to the mission and the purpose at hand. This is what we're going to have to do in this season. Hallelujah. Because otherwise, we will miss out. And I don't want to miss out on anything God has in store for me. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Our time is just about up. We've got to wrap this up and close it out, praise God. But I was listening to you talk about the children of Israel and I'm reminded about how so many people today are complaining and mummering and grumbling and complaining because of the fact that they uh, have not, well, let me say it like this, their ship haven't come in yet. And they're wondering why is it taking so long? They're wondering, amen, why? You know, am I having to go through all of this? Praise God, amen. It might be because of the same reason that the children of Israel took 40 years instead of 11 days to reach their journey. It was not, as you said, on God's part, but it was totally and completely upon the part, praise God, of a hard-hearted and stiff-necked people, as the Lord called them. And we don't want to be in a situation or circumstances like that, praise God, amen. I want to live, I want to live, praise God, in a way, amen, that God wants to heap his blessings upon me. I want the blessings of the Lord, praise God, to overtake me, praise God, yeah. amen, amen. That's that, that that's the sense, praise God, that God is saying that, amen, praise God. You're ready for it, praise God, amen. You might not see it, amen, but it's coming, it's ready, praise God, for you and and allow it to praise God just overtake you. So look, amen, we've got to wrap up here. I want you to have last words, praise God, and then we're going to go ahead and uh, close out with prayer. Amen. Look, I just want everybody on Facebook to know you that are listening tonight. We are in great anticipation of what's getting ready to happen in the lives of the believer in this year, 2023. I don't know how many of you are with me but uh, I, I've taken that scripture. I believe it's in Proverbs around the 28th chapter uh, where it says, my expectation mm -hmm. shall not be cut off. I have an expectancy of greater in this year. Uh, I don't care what the devil throw at me, what he throw at us as a body. 
what he you, and this is the in the uh, the attitude that I want you to have at individually. It doesn't matter as we say some head of high water. Whatever the devil throws, I want him to take his best shot because mm -hmm. I already know that I win everything mm -hmm. that God has for me in 2023. I'm going to receive it. My expectation mm -hmm. shall not be cut off. He said I could decree a thing and it would be established. I'm going to mm -hmm. keep my eyes mm -hmm. fixed and focused on my my purpose, my call, my destiny. Uh, I don't care who comes against me. Mm. For the Bible has already said, if God be for us, who can be against us? He's mm. more than the world against us. Nay, in all of these things, in COVID, in RSV, flu, cancer, high blood pressure, diabetes. He said, in all of these things, oh. we are more than conquerors through him. There you go. That's the, that's the point. We are more than conquerors through him that yeah. loved us. And so I'm on the winning team. You're on the winning team. Hallelujah. It's going to be a great year. And I can't wait. I can't wait. Uh, I know what God's going to do for me and Pastor Sago, but I can't wait to hear the powerful testimonies that's going to come from you. You all that are watching on Facebook, I tell you, some of you said, have already said, you got me in 2022. Now that I've crossed over in 2023, it's on. And I'm standing right with you to declare that you are in, walking in victory. God is on your side this year. Hallelujah. God is going to open up windows and uh, you're going to experience the greater in this season of 2023 and i'm just excited for you amen i believe it i believe it i receive it and we just concur with that praise god amen uh our theme that we are kind of focusing toward this year is uh moving toward praise or moving forward to the next glory praise god amen yes. coming from the scripture there that speaks about how that we are changed from uh in the image in his image amen from glory to glory from mm -hmm. glory to glory, praise God. In other words, God is progressing us, taking us higher, taking us further, taking us deeper, making us stronger, more effective, praise God, amen. And so every glory, I believe that there is another glory to be revealed in this year of 23, praise God, amen. God has blessed us in marvelous ways, brought us through a pandemic. He has secured us, praise God. Many have died and gone on, but we have been left here, Praise God. Amen. And I believe that it's so that we can experience this next wave of right. glory and of strength and of power in the Lord. Praise God. And I want you to be a part of it. Amen. And the whole thing is about being transformed into the image of his dear son. All right. Yes. Praise God. And y'all look, amen. Let us not get so wrapped up and hung up in the materialistic uh, uh, things. Praise God of the world that we live in, seeking those things, praise And the Bible tells them that if we seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, then all of these things, look, I'm, look I'm, I'll be the first one to tell you that God don't mind you having some things, praise God, but he wants you, amen, to be more in right relationship with him, praise God, amen. And then that way, when you have the things, they won't consume you. Praise God. And God will still be first place in your life. Amen. So uh, I believe that God wants and has the best for you. And I believe, amen, that that is set to manifest, praise God, in this next wave of glory, the next amen. waves of glory, praise God, amen, that I believe that God has in store for us. Praise God. I want to pray for you on tonight. We are just so uh, happy. Praise God. I'm thankful for my wife. Amen. Joining me. I'm always excited. Praise God. I always, amen, feel some kind of way. Praise God. Amen. When she has the opportunity, praise God, to be with me. Amen. I feel some kind of way. Praise God. And it's a good way. <laughs> I'm glad to be amen. with you tonight. Huh? I said, I'm glad to be with you tonight. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. And so, uh, but I want to pray for you on tonight. Praise God. Amen. And as you have maybe set some things in place, maybe mentally, or maybe you've even written them down. 
praise God, amen, some things that you want to accomplish this year. And, and perhaps, amen, after this lesson and study on tonight, amen, you might want to revisit them, praise God, amen, and uh, update them or upgrade them, praise God, amen, or bring them to a level, level, amen, to be sure that they are in compliance with the word of God, hallelujah, because that's what's most important, praise God, that we find ourselves doing and being in the will of of God, praise God, amen. And let me tell you something, praise God. Now, a lot of times people, they want to make good resolutions, they want to do better and stuff like that, amen. But look, the first thing for you to do better, amen, is to come into the will of God. For the Bible tells us, amen, that every uh, uh, all every promise, amen, all of the things, praise God, that God has promised us, amen, they come forth, amen, in Christ Jesus, praise God, amen. And so you must be a part of the body of Christ, amen, in order to, uh, for the Lord to work and to move in the way that he desires to in your life, praise God, amen. Because if you, uh, uh, look, look, God is not going to be uh, 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 playing, uh, uh, let me say, uh, uh, footsie with you and, and the devil, all right? Praise God. I mean, you've got to put the devil out if you want God, God in your house. Amen. You've got to put the devil out. Amen. And that I might be talking to somebody more than, than more than what is saying. Praise God. Amen. But you know if you're that person. Amen. But however, I mean, it's important, amen, that we be in compliance with God's word. I'm talking about salvation. If you're not saved, you might be on the line on tonight, amen, and have not given God your life, praise God, amen. You might be a backslider listening, praise God, amen, and God has not uh, caused you to be in this place by accident, amen, but he's drawing you by his word, amen, to uh, recommitment to the things of God and to uh, the will of the Lord, praise God. And if you just pray on tonight, pray on tonight, praise God, then certainly I know that God, he'll forgive, he'll wash, he'll cleanse, and he'll restore you, amen, and put you in a path and on a path, praise God, for the next wave of glory that is in line for the body of Christ and for the church, praise God. Just pray with us. Father, in the name of Jesus, I confess my sins, I confess my faults, I confess, Lord, the bad choices that I've made. I ask you to forgive me, wash me, and cleanse me by the precious blood of your son, Jesus. I believe that he is the son of God, the only means of salvation. And I receive him in my life. I receive him tonight, Father, in Jesus' holy name. And I thank you. I'm forgiven and I'm saved. Amen and amen. Praise God. My sisters, my brothers, amen. If you pray that prayer in honesty, look, as simple as it might seem, look, the power of God has begun to work in your life. If you meant it, if you were sincere in your prayer, and if you truly believe in your heart, praise God, amen, then God has begun to work on you and lick right now, right now, praise God, amen, you are saved by the blood of Jesus Christ, by grace through faith. That's how it happens, all right? And we want you, praise God, amen, to reach out to us, amen, if you prayed on tonight, Amen. And uh, the Lord did something for you. If this uh, lesson, praise God, help you on tonight, then reach out to us by way of text. Reach, reach out to us by way of text. Amen. You can reach us at uh, 901-450-9739. Let us know. Let us know, praise God. If you're blessed, let us know, praise God. And perhaps you might need additional prayer or information amen, about the decision that you've made on tonight. Praise God. We want you to be encouraged. We want to see and hear your testimony of victory for this year of 2023. I believe that God has it in store for you. Amen. I think and believe, amen, that that is that wave of glory, the next wave of glory that he wants to manifest in your life. Praise God. Amen. I want to also remind you, amen, that look, we are out of the holiday season right now. We're out of the holiday season, praise God. We're back into, amen, our 
our early morning prayer conference call, praise God. And we want to invite you to be a part of it, praise God, amen. Each weekday morning from 6.30 to 7 a.m., praise God, we are praying and crying out to the Lord, amen. Receiving blessings, praise God, amen. Calling our day, setting our day in order by and, and through the word of God. And it's just a blessing. The information is there on the screen, amen. Join in, praise God, amen, and be a part of this Praise God, amen, uh, conference call. And look, praise God, amen. <clears throat> I hope you'll say with me, extraordinary January. Praise God, extraordinary January. Praise God, amen. The revival is about to kick off this Sunday. This Sunday, praise God, amen. For the month of January, each Sunday night, beginning this Sunday night, praise God, we'll have a different feat, uh, uh, speaker. It's going to be a one-night revival, praise God, amen, each Sunday night. And this Sunday night at 5 o'clock, PM, praise God, amen. Our special guest will be Pastor, amen, uh, Marcus Smith, praise God, amen, from Louisville, uh, Louisville, Mississippi, praise God. He's the pastor of the uh, Warren Chapel Church of God in Christ, as well as Ebenezer Church of God in Christ, praise God. It works closely with our bishop here in northern Mississippi, praise God, amen. It's going to be an in-person service, so we invite you to come to share, to be a part of it. Look, praise God, this man of God is some powerful, and you really don't want to miss what God has to say through him, praise God. I was in conversation with him, amen, and God is already beginning to deal with him about, praise God, dealing with us this coming Sunday. Praise God. So I want you to come. I want you to be ready. Praise God. Amen. And come, praise God, amen, with your buckets up, ready to receive from the Lord, because it's going to be powerful. It's going to be, as they say, epic, praise God, amen. And you don't want to miss what God is going to do, amen, praise God, amen. Other guests, praise God, that we're looking forward to, amen, will be Superintendent Michael Hickman, praise God, Evangelist Barrett Chias Iron, praise God. We're also looking, amen, for a time, praise God, with uh, uh, Pastor Beverly and Todd Crawford, Amen. And then uh, even others, amen, we're looking forward to coming and being with us. So we look forward to you being a part of what God is going to do in this extraordinary January revival. This is what the Lord gave us to do. Amen. Praise God. We don't have a series of services in one week. Amen. But we kind of split it up. Amen. Each weekend and most churches, praise God, are not in services on Sunday evenings or Sunday nights anyway. Come on over to Victorious Faith Ministries, praise God, amen. Get your charge on, get your praise on, get a good word from the Lord, amen. Look, it's going to be terrific, amen, and I just really don't want you to miss it, all right? Praise God, amen. God bless you and God strength you. Lastly, praise God, I want to give you an opportunity, man, to sow a seed, and I don't want to forget that, praise God, especially with this being the first, amen, service, the first, praise God, TNT Steady of the year 2023. Amen. I'm going to ask you, if you would, please, amen, to sow a special seed. Sow a special seed for this kickoff service for 2023. Amen. Uh, you can do it, praise God, amen, through Cash App. Many of you are aware with Cash App, praise God. You can do it. Our cash tag is, is dollar sign BFMCOGIC. Praise God. You can also do it through Givelify. Praise God. Just search for Victorious Faith Ministries here in Italy, Mississippi. You'll see it's there. Praise God. You'll recognize us and know that you are in the right place to give. Praise God. Amen. People are already giving and we trust God. Amen. That you will too. Praise God. Amen. And, and if you can, can just consent, praise God, and allow and share with the Lord in this in this kickoff service, and at least a $20 seed, praise God. We would certainly appreciate it, and it would help us, praise God, to continue to do what we do in ministry for the glory of God. Amen, amen. Amen. Drop uh, if, you, if you can't do it, praise God, online, then drop a seed in the mail. Praise God. Take us a few days to get it, but address it to VFM or Victorious Faith Ministries, P.O. Box 313, Intervene in Mississippi, 38941. And we are certainly glad, praise God, to have had this opportunity to share with you, amen. And we were, we're praying for, amen, praise God, Pastor uh, Smith, Pastor uh, Marcus Smith, we're praying for him. We anticipated him being with us on tonight in this study, praise God, but has some challenges, amen. So we are praying for him that God, amen, would just 
uh, uh, raise him up and get him ready, praise God, to deliver unto us on Sunday evening, praise God. <clears throat> God bless you, God strength you, praise God. Last words, Lady, Lady B. God bless everybody. We enjoyed the study tonight, enjoyed studying with you. And of course, VFM, we're looking to see you this Sunday. Let's be reminded that this Saturday at one o'clock, we will be at VFM celebrating with Lula Coleman, uh, the home going of her husband. Uh, so we invite the members to come out to help support Sister Coleman and her family this Saturday at one o'clock at the VFM church. And of course, we'll Friday on Sunday morning, 815 for Sunday school, and of course, 10 o'clock for our morning worship celebration. All right. God bless you. God strengthen you and the Lord keep you is our prayer. You pray for us and we'll pray for you. Amen. I believe that when we do that, then we're all going to make it. Amen. And get to this next wave of glory in Jesus Christ. God bless you. We'll see you the next time right here. Until then, God bless. <laughs>